What's up guys, my name is Brandon and I've been using iOS 14.4 beta one on my iPhone 12 Pro here, which is my main device ever since it was released last week. And in this video, I wanted to give you guys my follow-up review and talk to you about how it's been in terms of performance, battery life, bugs, bug fixes, connectivity, along with some new features and changes that I found in the software. We're also gonna talk about when we can expect this to be released to the general public. But let's start off with some additional new features and changes found here in 14.4 beta one and the first two are actually within the messages application so the first one has to do with links inside of messages so you can see here this was a TikTok link sent to me and you could see that there is an app clip attached to the TikTok link so if i did not have TikTok installed i would be able to install it without actually fully installing the application you know just using an app clip and you can see there it shows that now with certain links in ios 14.4 which is really nice and really convenient if you don't want to download the TikTok application like fully, but you just wanna do it via app clips. You can do that now with 14.4 just through sent links, which is really nice. And we know that 14.4 is really putting an emphasis on the app clips in general. Another new feature in this update inside of the messages application occurs when you view the reactions to a message inside of a group chat. So you can see here that multiple people reacted to this message and up top it looks normal, but sometimes there will be a darker black circle around the people who reacted to the message. So I've not been able to reproduce this every single time, but it's happened like three different times. So it could be a bug, but that is something I noticed here in 14.4 as well. If you guys noticed anything different with the reactions and group chats, let me know in a comment below because I'm trying to determine still if it's a bug or a new feature. Now also in 14.4 beta one is going to be the perspective zoom option here for setting wallpapers via the shortcuts application. So if you guys saw my video on how to set a dynamic wallpaper on iOS 14.3 and above, I showed how to set this up and how to have your wallpaper change every single day or you know based on a time. If you didn't see that video, it is up in the cards and down in the description below. But 14.4 adds this new toggle here for the get wallpaper right here, the set wallpaper for perspective zoom. So you can turn that on or off and that is new here in 14.4. Now another new feature in 14.4 has to do with the HomePod mini and handoff. So you can see here, when I move my phone closer to the HomePod mini, we get this little banner up top that says Office HomePod and it shows the music. We get the little glyph over there in the left and it's doing haptic feedback right now. So you can see how it's kind of pulsating on the screen right there. That means I'm getting closer and closer to the speaker. So it kind of pulsates and it vibrates in your hand the closer you get to the speaker right before it hands off. So that is really cool. So if I'm playing music on my iPhone and I want to transfer it to my HomePod, all I have to do is you know be playing music on the iPhone and then get it closer and closer to the HomePod mini and it will hand off to that device. So take a look at it. It says move closer or tap to change. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it closer and you can see when I get right over top of the HomePod mini, I don't have to press it or anything. It starts playing and we get this right here. We get this little platter right here, which is new in 14.4, and it shows the HomePod up top, and this is just an all new now playing platter right here. Now it is kind of buggy because it is a first beta, and it doesn't always work. Sometimes I've noticed how it basically thinks that I'm on a phone call and it will show like the phone icon up there. So it won't let me hand off and it won't play music at all. So it's still kind of buggy and sometimes this will be like chopped in half and you won't be able to see like the song that's playing. So there's still some work to be done on this for sure, but it is cool that we now have the official handoff for the HomePod mini. And you can see up there, we get the little glyph and everything, which this is what Apple showed when they announced the HomePod mini. So really cool new feature there with 14.4 beta one, if you have, the HomePod mini. We also get a new voiceover option inside of our accessibility settings. So if we go to our settings, go to accessibility, to voiceover, and then down to rotor actions right here, you will see that we have direct touch apps. If we go into that, you can see you have all these options for direct touch apps. So that is new here in 14.4 that was not available in previous versions. Another potentially new feature in 14.4 comes from Jeff Smith over here on Twitter who told me that he found a new feature added to CarPlay and he says that HomeKit support for the garage openers and things like that. So if you look down in the bottom right, it looks like he has a new little section there that shows the garage door and if it's open or closed right there. So apparently that was not in CarPlay before 14.4. If somebody can verify this, that would be great down in the comments. I do not personally have CarPlay, so I cannot test that, 
but that appears to be new here in 14.4 beta 1. So thanks to Jeff for sending that over on Twitter. You guys can always tell me about new features and changes that you find as well if I don't cover them over on Twitter and Discord and places like that. Now, as far as PS5 controller support or the Xbox Series X controller support, Neither one of those are supported with 14.4, unfortunately. You cannot even find the PS5 controller when you search for it on Bluetooth. And then the Xbox One, you can find it, but you just can't play games with it or anything like that. So unfortunately, neither one are supported with 14.4, but I would assume that we will see support very soon. Maybe the final version of 14.4 or maybe 14.5 or something like that. And as far as dual SIM 5G, that is still not available here in 14.4 beta one. I have tested this. I've had multiple people test it for me as well, and you cannot access 5G while using dual SIM. And as far as the text message notification bug, I have been testing this. I have been, you know, sending myself messages from other devices and I've had other people you know send me messages just to test and it looks like Apple really did fix it with 14.3 because it has not come back at all in 14.4 beta 1 so fingers crossed that it stays that way and that this never gets back into iOS again because that was probably one of the worst bugs of all time where you just simply would not get a notification when you got a message but thankfully it has been fixed and 14.4 keeps that fix intact. But not everything is perfect on 14.4 beta one and really not even close. I've had numerous issues with Apple Music. Sometimes Apple Music will just pause and even somebody inside of the Discord server here you can see had issues with Apple Music when it came to using Snapchat as well. So it seems like a lot of issues with Apple Music and just audio sources in general. I had issues in my car with audio it just wouldn't play sometimes and it would play on the phone instead of through bluetooth and i don't think it was a bluetooth issue i think it was actually just something to do with the audio sources on the iphone in 14.4 because even with my home pod i had an issue where the home pod thought i was using my phone application when I was really playing music and just no audio came out from either device. So it was really strange. I had to reboot my device and then it fixed it. So it seems like some really weird audio source issues going on here with 14.4. And then I've also had some stuttering issues. So I've not had any stutter at all with the iPhone 12 series until 14.4 beta one. So sometimes when I pull down the control center, I'll have a stutter. Sometimes when I go from app to app, like app switching, I'll have a slight stutter and there just seems to be something off with the performance of 14.4 beta one. So all of that ties into the performance of 14.4 beta one. So I would call the overall performance just simply decent. This is the first time I've had stuttering issues. It's the first time I've had audio source issues. Now it could be because this is just a first beta, but still it seems like Apple would not leave such a buggy firmware on a beta for so long. Like if we don't get the second beta until January, that means you're stuck with this buggy firmware for a few weeks. And that's pretty annoying if you have it on your main device. Now, obviously this is what I do for a living. So it's you know fine for me to do it, but that's why I would recommend you guys not do it on your main device because it can be pretty frustrating. So yes, we do have some of the existing bugs fixed in 14.4 beta one, but it looks like we do have a new string of new bugs in 14.4 beta one as well. So that's just something to keep in mind. It's not perfect. Nobody should expect a first beta to be perfect at all but uh, that's the case here with 14.4 beta one. Now, when it comes to battery life, battery life has also been slightly worse than 14.3 for me. So this could be because of the bugginess in general and the fact that I've had to reboot my device a couple of times. I normally don't have to do that, but the battery life seems slightly lower than 14.3, but it's not bad. I'm not having battery drain issues. It just seems to be slightly lower. I find myself having to plug in my device earlier in the night than I normally do. So that's just something else to take into consideration with this beta software. Now, as far as the connectivity goes, Connectivity has been fine for me. I've really not noticed any difference going from 14.3 to 14.4 beta one. We did get a modem firmware update, but that has not really had any effect, you know, positive or negative on me so far here on my iPhone 12 pro on this first beta. Now I did also do a community poll for 14.4 beta one, and I wanted to read these results and some of these comments to you guys as well. So as you know, on the community tab of my channel, I do always run these polls for pretty much every software version. And that was no different today. So just three hours ago, I asked, how was iOS 14.4 beta one? How's it been for you? And also leave a comment with the device you're using. And you can see there based on the results, we had, what was it, 8,000 votes and 71% of people are not on 14.4 beta one. So that's good. I'm glad that most of you guys are on 14.3. 
but you can see that the majority of people on 14.4 are actually having a pretty good experience. So 15% are having an excellent experience, 7% are having a good experience, 4% are having a decent experience, and only 3% are having a terrible experience. So I would probably put myself in the good category. It is kind of annoying, but it's definitely, you know, I definitely do have annoying bugs and things like that. So yeah, that, those were the percentages for this poll. Let's go ahead and read some of these comments. And you can see here, I commented about the audio source issues that I was having earlier, asking if anybody else is having issues with Apple Music. And you can see here, Joshua said that yes, he's having lots of issues with Apple Music. You can see the most thumbs up comment right here is from Tom, who says he's having a lot of frame drops through Control Center and through Settings and App Switcher on the iPhone XS. So I was also experiencing some frame drops and just kind of some stutter as well. And you can see here, multiple people are reacting the same way. So Montez says same, multiple people are saying they're having the same issue here on 14.4 beta one. So all these people are having that issue. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind with a first beta. And then Kirsten here says that they are on an iPhone 11, just got it. And I don't plan on updating to 14.4 until it's released to the public. And yes, I would recommend that for most people as well, especially if you are using your main device to update to 14.4. I would not go through the beta stages, at least not beta one, until we have some of these kinks worked out. You can see somebody's having an issue with the widgets, saying that they don't work 70% of the time. When I try to swipe them, they become invisible and you have to restart to fix it every time. Now that has happened to me. It's been happening to me on my iPad Pro, but I've not had that issue on my iPhone, but interesting that that's happening on both for you there. Parker confirms that the green tent issue is still there, which I did report on in the first beta video, my what's new video, along with the 14.3 video. You can see here, Zach says he's still having a bug with YouTube from two updates ago and a little small other bugs on the iPhone 12. Piano Man said that he had to downgrade to 14.3 because I could not swipe homepage pages without lagging. So that's pretty unfortunate there that he had to downgrade because it was so bad, but I've actually heard that from multiple people as well. Not the downgrading part, but just the lag on the home screen, lag on the 10s. iPhone 11 is stuttering like crazy. Multiple people responded here saying that they're also having stuttering issues here as well, which again, that's typical with what I said, you know, for a first beta. And then of course there are people saying good things as well. Like the Dub Brothers said that they haven't noticed anything bad about it yet. You can see other people here saying that they're fine iPhone XR on 14.4 is phenomenal. It's great. And then you can see it goes back to the bad comments. So I would say that the bad comments outweigh the good here in this poll. But if you want to read those, you can go back to the community poll here. And once again, thanks to everybody who voted and left a comment that does help me out and kind of judge how the software version is running for everybody else. But yeah, so let's talk about when we can expect the second beta of iOS 14.4. And if you guys watched my what's new video on 14.4 beta one last week, I did talk about this. I also talked about it in my 14.3 follow-up review video, but if history is any indication, then Apple is not going to release a second beta to 14.4 until probably the first week of January. So probably the week of the 4th or the week of the 11th. So we still have at least a couple of weeks before we see a new 14.4 beta release. Now there is a very slim possibility of seeing a second beta for 14.4 tomorrow on the 23rd, but I would say that's a very slim chance. It is possible, but very slim chance. Now, if it does not come out tomorrow, then I would recommend if you're having really bad issues, just downgrade back to 14.3 until at least the second beta comes out. I do have a video showing you guys how to downgrade without losing data, and I will leave that down in the comments below. And also I'll probably leave a card up there as well for how to downgrade. And as far as the final public release for 14.4, I would not expect that until probably early February if I had to guess. Now I will be able to give you guys a more accurate prediction as we see you know, the betas roll out. I will talk about that more in my future beta videos, but just right now I would expect early February for 14.4 to be released to the public. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That has been my experience so far on 14.4 beta one. Not the greatest experience. I was having those issues with the audio input and just things like stuttering and lag and things like that. So not the greatest, but it's not the worst. You know, I could have had much worse battery life. I could have much worse bugs. So I'm not going to go out and say it's terrible, but definitely not the best experience as kind of expected for a first beta. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about 14.4 beta one down in the comment section below. And of course, if you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.